You too! Hey man, say man, you guys have seen some of the dope B-roll from this Cadillac. Let me just jump into it and tell you a little bit about it, shall we? Hmm? Tease Buds Podcast, home of building unique desires. As a kid, I always wanted several different cars, man. I mean, from custom, low rider, donk, stock, hot rod, slabs, street riders. Hey, I just always been intrigued in the cars, man. As I began building my first 124th scale model car at age 11, my passion for the hobby grew tremendously. With 11 years of consistent building, trial and error, bad trades, good trades, natural talent, and learned talent, I've been able to establish my own style and learn from all that. Growth is vital to anything you do in life, and you can't be scared to think different, build different, and approach a model car with the great mindset. When you got the feeling to create, hey man, build something you desire that is unique to you. Welcome to the Buds Podcast, Building Unique Desires, starring Chip T.
man. Thanks to everybody who's been tuning in and watching. I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly very much. If you don't know that, you know this is the Buzz Talk Show, where we build unique desires, starring me, Chip T. That's right. Hey, man, say, haven't checked out the last video of the unboxing of my new sponsor. <laughs> Check it out. There's tons of dope products. Uh, hopefully, I can present these stuff to you guys and you guys are able to use it and, you know, help increase the detail and, and increase the, the realistic, the realism of your model car, right? So, just stay tuned for that, guys. I also have a giveaway coming. I will make another video. Well, take that back because I already, I already have the video. I just want to make a few changes. So, maybe I'll make cut those out. And insert a few different things that I want to um, incorporate and then go ahead and upload that video but just stay tuned for that information uh, it has pretty much everything that you guys need to know to get to you know to get entered into the giveaway so stay tuned for that um, no without further ado though this Cadillac you got this was my build-off car this was my build-off car against a good dude on True Riders. Um, so, you know, like I mentioned, you guys have seen a little bit of this build. Um, this car is what was for a build off that I had going on on a Facebook group page called True Riders. And basically, um, this was a pink slip build off. Um, with both cars being done, with both cars um, judged by. I guess the admin, so I'm not too sure how the judging went. I just assumed that the ju the, the judging came from the likes and the comments. And like I had mentioned in my um, live stream on What to Do Wednesdays, like I mentioned, I gave him the win because off the likes and comments, we both got a lot of likes, we both got a lot of comments, positive things, but when it came down to it and I started to read the comments, I started to see most of his likes and stuff it was a lot higher than mine and i'm not saying like significant difference but it was a lot higher than mine and it just it was obvious that the people liked what they saw uh from him and you know the people like what they saw from me but they just liked what he what he built a little bit more and so i was like well that's fine you know from 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 what from so let me just say this one of the admins had posted hey what's going on with the build offs who won and i had made a comment that in my personal opinion, I was just giving my two cents on why I believe I should have won. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, just the things that I pointed out that I believe I won. And it was the areas that I believe I won in. And I wasn't saying that I beat him in these areas and I feel like I should be the one to win. That's not what I was saying at all. And that's kind of what took place and got out of context. But nevertheless, um, you know, I told the admin, I said, hey, man, you know, I believe I got I got points in the hydraulic setup, the way my tuck is in the front, the way my rear uh, differential locks up. I believe I got him in those areas. Um, and then, you know, I proceeded to just let him know. Overall, though, from the looks of the comments and what the people are saying, he won, which is perfectly fine, you know. So when that happened, you know, he uh, my opponent got into my inbox and was like, it was like, yeah, now you got to send me your car and this and this and that because we had a conversation off topic. I mean, um, off the comment section in our inboxes. And, and, you know, we talked it out. I had a video call and everything. And he told me, he said, hey, you know, I don't even want your car anymore. And this was before judging and all that happened. So it was just like mind boggling that now <laughs> he thinks that I'm kind of like, shitting on him and I wasn't I was just giving my two cents on why I think I won in these areas and overall though we know the people liked his build so that's what I was getting at um but as you guys see I've kept my car we worked something else out I will be sending him a Cadillac fresh kit with some wire wheels um and a bunch of other small intricate things that I received um just throughout sponsors and stuff like that so I'll be sending him a prize package including the Cadillac kit but he won't be getting this one. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we had a full month to build that, to uh, to build those Cadillacs. Um, we had from April twentieth to May twentieth, and um, I mean we we both got them knocked out. Very clean builds. Very 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 fresh. Um, 
and new. I don't think these builds have been have been done in the sense that they have been built in. You know, mine's the single turbo LT1 LT1 motor. His is a Hemi swap. Um, yeah, he has a Dodge Hemi swap. So, you know, and then these are all things that just kind of comes to play with me. Like in real life, you know, would you really do a Dodge Hemi swap on a Cadillac? You know, um, so nevertheless, you know, we was just, it was just a fun build. Like I said, we had a full month to do it. We both got it done within the month. Uh, I originally was going to ask for an extended date, but I wasn't on Facebook, so I didn't even like get to, to inbox him. Like, hey, hey, let me, let me get an extension. Um, cause I thought I was going to need it, but I didn't need it. Um, I mean, yes, I did need it to get all the details I want to get done. Like batteries battery terminal i mean the whole main focus of this build was a good paint job to to um to step up my tape to try airbrushing to try working with different colors and mixing colors and stuff like that so that's what this build was it was the main focus was a good paint job which there's some flaws you guys can see um i am missing a pinstripe but other than that I'm very happy with the outcome because not only is this my fifth car, you know, doing graphics and taping and cutting, but I've airbrushed it. This is all airbrush work. So to just see where I've come from with the beginning of a lot of people saying that I couldn't do this and that I shouldn't do this and then going into what I have now. And so I'm just super excited about myself. I'm proud of what I have. I'm super happy that. Um, both of us were able to take away some knowledge from one another because we did learn from one another. I mean, honestly, like I, I learned from him is that sometimes, you know, we always say this on my podcast on what to do Wednesdays, but sometimes less is more. And he proved that, you know, so that's just something I took away from. Like, you don't always have to go crazy. You don't always have to overdo yourself. It's always good to sometimes just step back and, and be simple. So that's what I took away from that. Um, shout out to Desmond Ryan. For participating shout out to uh city to city model car club shout out to true riders and all the people that commented and just commentated and and came and had a good time you know what i mean so um what else can i talk about on this build guys before we get too off topic um also pretty much i did everything frame up as you guys notice i've been saying it a lot in the, in the you know recent videos but frame up with this build is basically the center of, of all the hydraulics being done at once and then the frame being painted, um, detailed, and then suspension being chromed, put back together, or whatever piece needs to be added. And then engine detail, engine painted, um, transmission swap, et cetera, et cetera. Which, by the way, so this is the LT1 engine block, but the transmission is the actual uh, 409, I believe. that It's the, it's the original transmission. Um that came with the car but i just cut it made it fit to the lt1 i don't know how accurate that is in real life um but i would imagine that it would work i mean it fit like a glove so but i would imagine that worked because of the gear ratio um and the flywheel is pretty much universal it's kind of even so i would imagine it worked i know there's probably a few things i need to change but it's a model you know uh, so anyway, that's that. And then with the interior, I kind of, I'm not going to say I last minute the interior because I already had the idea where I was going to go with it. But as you guys see, there's some things that are painted that match the color of the car. And all of that was kind of like last minute touches that I wanted to add. And originally, I was going to go super all blue. No, nothing to make it stand out. Maybe some pinstriping. I mean, um, some trimming on, on the trim, like a different color on the trims. But I said, no, I'm going to do something different. So that's why you guys see a little bit of the paint blending in with the actual outside paint in the interior. Um, so that's that. I can take this car. I can't take all four wheels off and display it as a low rider, like show low rider. Um, this is a hopper, as you guys seen in the beginning. But you can take all four wheels off and show all the disc brakes because it has disc brakes all the way around. Um... I mean, there's just so much more to add to this vehicle that I just I just haven't had the actual dedication to sit down and add all of this detail. I mean, there's just so much that I, that I have. Like, I have a list of 
all of the things that I needed to add. And when you guys look into the engine bay, as you guys seen earlier in the video, you guys see all the photo etch that's going on in the in the fan belt area. Um, there's just so much more photo etch to be added. So it's like I just need to take some time, discipline myself, and really get down to it and get it done. But I'm not going to drag you guys on any longer. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you are new. I do have a how-to video dropping of how to do hinges on the G-Body. So pretty much any G-Body you have, Mini, Grand National, Monte Carlo, Cutlass, Regal, whatever G-Body you have, this tutorial is for you. So just be on the lookout for that. We are doing hinges on the doors. And pretty much on how to do it. On how I do it. So stay tuned for that video. It's already uploaded. I'm just going to. I've been shooting part two of it. Because I want to give you guys the whole thing all at once. So just stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is the Buzz Talk Show. Where we build unique desires. Peace and love everybody.